With countries around the world trying to get their hands on COVID testing kits, there are new concerns about whether there's going to be enough supplies to meet that huge demand. Yes, yeah, senior investigative reporter Bagat Shaban shows us how one Bay Area company is hoping to solve a massive dilemma with one tiny innovation. The test tube has been in laboratories for about 200 years, but a Silicon Valley startup has reinvented it. We just sat back and said, we can do better. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job. Dr. Bassam Alpha Maui is a microbiologist and founder of Maui DNA Technologies. From inside this small office in Hayward, I love this idea, guys. He and his 20 person team are working to revolutionize how the world tests for the coronavirus. You have to innovate because everybody is doing testing at the same time. There is so much stress on the supply chain. It's not just coming from here, it's coming from everywhere at the same time. To get tested for COVID-19, samples are usually taken from the nose and mouth. And typically those swabs are placed in separate vials for testing. But this new type of test tube is lined with tiny teeth that scrape the sample right off the swab. So you don't leave the swab in the vial, which allows room to add a second sample into that same tube. Two is always better than one. That's a simple math. It makes it more accurate because you can detect more of the virus. Businesses and government agencies in nine states have FDA approval to use the new test tubes. Half a million have sold in the past two months. Dr. Elfa Maui says with his device, coronavirus tests can be processed faster with fewer materials. Unlike his new vials, when traditional test tubes are sent to the lab, special chemicals called reagents are required to isolate the molecules of the virus so they can be tested. Those reagents have become hot commodities on the world market. What happens if we can no longer get a hold of these materials? You can do the test. You cannot. It's like a, basically have a car without, without gas. Useless. You can't go anywhere. But Maui DNA's swab-free test tubes and the special solution that comes with them were designed to better stabilize the sample. Think of it as a snapshot that captures a single moment. It doesn't change. With other solutions, the sample can fade over time, which is why those extra chemicals are needed to isolate what's left of the virus. But that is not required with these newer test tubes. So you're not adding more stress on already stressed logistics. Right now, countries across the globe are all vying for the same supplies. This is unprecedented. I mean, we're not just looking at demand here in the U.S., we're looking at demand globally. George Serafin is a biomedical engineer and senior managing director at FTI Consulting. For 30 years, he's been helping medical companies solve their supply chain problems. He says chemicals needed to process coronavirus tests haven't run low yet, but that could change in the coming months as communities loosen their stay at home orders. Just doing temperature screening you know, certainly isn't going to be sufficient. And so the ability to do uh, a test is going to be important. So the reality is the way we have been testing could change dramatically in terms of the frequency. Very much so, very much so. That's going to put tremendous pressure on the volumes that are needed to satisfy that demand. At least 1.5 million coronavirus tests have been done in California, more than 13 million across the U.S. But millions more tests will be needed if employers, daycares, and even schools make testing and retesting mandatory in order to reopen. We need more testing, for sure. Absolutely. To contain this virus, you need to know who has it or who doesn't. Dr. Alpha Maui invited us to this plant in San Leandro, where 50,000 of his new test tubes are created daily. By the first week of July, we're actually scaling up to 100,000 devices a day. 100,000? Yes. That's 3 million test tubes a month by this summer. He hopes his Bay Area startup can help meet the global demand for more testing even if certain chemicals become scarce during the pandemic. When it came to looking at all these strains on supply chain, you have to start thinking outside of the box. More and more testing sites like these are beginning to open, but most samples become less reliable unless they're put on ice and processed within three days. The new test tubes from Maui DNA are good for up to 21 days, even at room temperature. And that could prove especially useful during a testing backlog or when samples need to be transported out of more remote communities. With the Investigative Unit, I'm Big Ashaban.